Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirish Kumar saying and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting into the shared object repository a little deeper to understand that what happens if a shared repository which is created initially is required to be changed at some point of time. This is very possible when we have different objects being added at multiple builds and you might have created a shared, shared object repository to be reused again and again. But of course, at some point of time, it might be required for you to quickly add some of the objects to the shared object repository and make use of it thereafter as well. Now, today we'll be understanding how a shared object repository, which is generally when called in a test is non-editable, can be edited and added with more objects in the same. So let's get started and start and understand the same thing today. As a part of this tutorial, we will be getting back to the repositories in order to understand how to work with the shared repository and how to edit or update an existing shared repository. To understand more about how to interact with a shared repository and update it at any point of time, we must have a shared repository which you might be using. Now, if you remember, definitely in our previous tutorials, we have understood how to create a shared repository and what are the benefits of having a shared repository. Now, for example, if I'm creating a new test right here, I just have to go to the object repository and click on the uh, associate an existing shared repository so that I don't have to add a new object again and again. So I just have to go to tools, click on associate repositories and click on add button and pull up the uh, shared repository which you would have created as a part of your earlier interactions. And uh, I think on my desktop I should be having that. Yeah, here it is. So I just open that, tell my action one to use it and press OK. So now if you see there are a lot of uh, shared object repository which you would have got here. So if you can see all these faded ones are my shared object repositories and currently I'm using local as well as shared. So if I click on this, I see a path here, which is my TSR. And if I select the local one, it is local for me. But at any point of time, it might be required for you to understand that maybe an additional object is added and that's where the shared object repository need to be modified. Now this is where we need to understand that when it is called in a test, these objects are uneditable. That means you cannot delete it, you cannot rename it, you cannot paste anything, and you cannot delete it. So a lot of people wonder that, is there a way by some point I can change or exist, uh, you know, modify my existing shared repository? Then yes, there is a way to do it. You have an option called as Object Repository Manager here, and you just go to Object Repository Manager and import the same associated repository. So there's a button here called as Open Repository. So instead of associating it to your test you open an existing repository that is flight.tsr and once you open you can see all the objects which are listed as a part of your repository so right now we have every single object what we need for this application but in case you want to edit anything you just have a pencil button right next to it which says enable editing click on this and all the object becomes easy or editable in terms of modifying it for example if i don't need these images i can just press control and select all of them and just right click and say delete okay and now if I again go back and just remove all these images I just say delete so this is how I can modify anything if I want I can add more objects to it and include them in the existing repository and as far as I'm done editing whatever I want to edit I just click on save button this is how I can modify an existing shared repository when required. And I just close this. Now in that case, I would like to take up a new test. Just to show you that uh, there are some new changes happening here. And once your test opens, all you need to do is go back to the repository and uh, click on Tools, Associate Repository, Add the Repository, Select it, Tell your Action 1 to use it and press OK. Now if I scroll down I would not find any of those images okay, which I had earlier in my shared repository. I deleted all the image objects from the list. Now my shared repository is updated 
But please remember that a shared repository cannot be modified when called in a test, but it can always be modified outside a test using the object repository manager. Now that's what the object repository manager is all about when you want to manage existing repositories and update them or modify them at any point of time. So that was a quick tutorial to talk about how to manage your repositories and modify your existing shared object repositories at any particular point of time. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.